Okay, folks, I'm not one for unboxing videos, but this drawer has been driving me nuts for all too long. You know, you lay these wrenches out all nice, and then you close it and open it and shit, and stuff ends up everywhere. So I bought a new product. I saw it on the Facebook uh, advertising. It is called Toolbox Widget. So I spent about 100 something bucks on a bunch of, uh, bunch of these. And we're going to give them a try, and I'm going to give you an honest review. And then I'm going to tell you a couple of things based on my experience with the company so far. So, they come out of the box. Initial impression. I guess these things slide together. We'll play with that here in a minute. They are made out of what I would consider a very, very cheap injection molded plastic. No, uh, no fiber, no, you know, not really temp resistance or whatever. But that doesn't mean it won't work. But my initial impression right off the get, uh, the get-go is... This isn't worth $25. Will it work? Does it work? Well, we're going to find out. So, yeah, I figured out these things will slide together. There's like a tongue and groove or like a dovetail. And uh, it's really hard to do with one hand while holding the phone. But they do slide together and lock together. So they're, they're kind of infinitely adjustable. The thing I noticed right away is these edges are razor sharp. Like... I think I'm going to drag a file across them. I think I'm going to cut myself on those. It certainly feels like it. So I'm making progress here on the reorganize, and, and these are the smaller wrench ones for sort of your normal wrenches. And like I said, I ordered one for some bigger wrenches. So yeah, still working along here, and something that's certainly come to my attention is um, seeing some of the pictures in their marketing and, and their Facebook site and stuff showing that you know, they've made all kinds of room in the toolbox. Like, you know, you won't have to buy a bigger toolbox. You just got to buy these widgets. And, um, well, up here is some of the shit that was in this drawer with all that mess. And clearly it isn't going to fit in here again, unless, of course, I get rid of all these. And, and I'm not really sold yet. I'm not ready to spend even more money on on product. And, and again... Look at this. I don't think, yeah, there's a bit of wasted space here, but I don't think you're going to get much more in this drawer with these screwdrivers being organized, you know. Um, so I do notice that I probably needed to order a few more of the regular wrench organizers as I've, I've kind of got a couple extra wrenches here that I don't have homes for and a couple wrenches here that I've sort of doubled up. Uh, first impression of how it works it's uh it's pretty cool it does keep things this is more organized at least and that really should be the thing is it gets you organized it won't necessarily make more room but it'll get you organized i feel like the magnets are strong enough that they aren't going to move around when you slam the drawer when you're pissed oh well maybe a little bit but that's better than what we had before where everything was back at the back of the uh at the back of the toolbox and i never slam it that hard anyways but let's be uh let's be well Never intentionally slam it that hard. So they work. I will grant them that. This sharp edge is like, like that's unforgivable. That, that, that shit, you got to go in and work on the mold, guys. Um, I'm going to keep organizing. I got another one here, which is a screwdriver one. I'm going to play around with that. Uh, I needed to get this drawer organized, and, and we're getting there. Still not happy with it. I need to take some time and fabricate some stuff. Pardon the mess, but like I fabricated all this stuff. It cost Jerry a lot of money for me to get this hutch as organized as it is. Um, you know, that's just my wrench hangers. I really love those because everything has a place. My screwdriver hanger, um, you know, that's, that's kind of what I was going for. But um, first impression, again, the sharpness... The cheapiness isn't really cool for what you're charging for it. Um, but I think it's going to work. And that ultimately, that's what we're trying to get. Would I buy any more? Would I buy from these guys again? Well, I'm going to say no. And there was one thing that sort of was a nail in a coffin that I really don't have patience for. And it is um, dishonesty or what i feel like is dishonesty so i put this order in and over a week went by and no tracking number you know and, and in the email that i got when i put the order in is it says average orders are dispatched within two business days well it was a full five business days and i sent them an email finally saying hey what's going on here and 
short, you know, a couple days, about two days later, I got an email back with a tracking number. Well, tracking number and printing a label does not constitute shipping a product. And don't bullshit us by trying to say that. It's not shipped till you put it on a truck. Uh, it then was a couple more days. I kept checking the tracking number before I saw that FedEx had actually picked it up. So, um, you know, I understand we're, we're in interesting times here. I, I didn't have a high expectation of it getting here quickly. But don't tell me that it's going to be put on a truck in two days and be nearly two weeks before that actually happens. If they just said, hey, Black Friday or Cyber Monday, we're really overwhelmed. It's going to take a week or two before we get this out. Cool. But you didn't play that. So would I buy from these guys again? No. I didn't get a good vibe as to the business ethics and how they're going to, how they're operating. And uh, that means that a guy like me, who I think is a pretty influential mechanic, uh, isn't going to recommend the product. That said, it does work. It'd be really cool to see this get licensed and let somebody else manage their business. And I think it would be a very good product in a big box store on a tool truck somewhere but the way they're selling it right now isn't working in my opinion and i'm going to say i'm disappointed and i'm giving the product a thumbs down between the sharpness and poor communication with the customer anyways thanks everybody for watching i might do a follow-up and sometime and tell you how what i think of it when they're you know six eight months old thanks a lot bye bye seriously look this is brand new out of the box look at this corrosion we're getting on these magnets already yeah not impressed